So I'm kicking off the video today with Woody and I training earlier this week for our dressage test on the weekend. I realised you don't get to see a great deal of us training from the ground so I wanted to show you a few clips. I had a really good feeling about the way that he was working this week and I was super excited for our dressage competition on the weekend. It was going to be our first prelim together and our second intro together and yeah he'd just been working really well and I had a good feeling so I vlogged the whole thing and as you will have already known from the title and the thumbnail we actually actually won our first intro so let's jump straight in and let me take you through the day. quite clean really aren't you so this morning woody and i are going to do a little dressage competition we have an intro and then our first prelim together so it's about quarter past eight we're not on until i'm not going to get on until 10 but i haven't plattered or anything and it takes me ages to pack because i'm not very good so i need to do that first and then just take an easy day hopefully take our time my nerves are actually pretty good and i think the more i do these little competitions at home the better my nerves get so yeah take you along with us so plaiting first before I do anything else. So just brushing through Woody's mane first to get rid of any hay or dust or dirt or any tangles overnight. And then I'm gonna put some of the NAF plaiting foam in his mane. And that basically just gives it a little bit more grip than normal. I'll show you the bottle um, if you haven't seen it before. So now just getting my plaiting bands from my little pot and you'll notice that I'm putting them on my finger and what this does is not only make it easier to get them when I start plaiting but also it warms the bands up and reduces the chance of them actually snapping because they're a little bit warmer. I obviously have half brown plaits and half white plaits so I need colours that match with that for Woody's mane. I also do all of my separation and long plaits first and then I go back and roll them all up at the same time rather than one by one. So we've got our plaits down, a little bit of hand up, but all of these, I just need to roll them up now. Good boy, Mr Wood. So handsome. Yes. So now I'm going back and rolling up my plaits, so I fold it over once underneath and then twice, so each plait is folded twice, and then I put the band round it once, twice, if I can, if I don't think it's going to fall down. Um, and then you'll notice as well, there's a little bit of rubbed mane at the bottom of his mane. So I always put those in kind of little bunches, but they're not proper plaits because the mane is not actually long enough to do that. These are a bit dodgy, but then these are actually okay. Plaits are done. Now we've got to go and deal with all, all of this. You ready, Woods? No, oh, good boy. So now giving Woody a quick groom now that the plaits are out of the way. I did do the four lock plait, forgot to film it. I'm not very good at four lock plaques anyway, so you didn't miss anything. But because I'm going to go and give his um, poo patches and stain patches a wash, obviously I want to make sure that I've groomed him dry first because once he's wet, it's going to be very difficult to do any brushing. So getting that bit done and then down to give him a little wash. You can really see the, the poo stains now. <laughs> I've got to get these off. Haven't we, Woody? Look at you. Disgusting. But such a pretty little face. So, just giving Woody a wash. We don't have a lot of time before we have to stack up, so I'm just standing in the light so he warms up a bit and dries, hopefully. He's a bit of a wriggler. But yeah, thank you so much. So Woody has spent about 15-20 minutes under the light, so he's pretty dry now and now it's time to tack up. I would always tack up first and then go and do myself second so that I can stay clean for as long as possible. I am running ever so slightly behind at this point, but not enough to make me worried, basically. But yeah, tacking up and then I'm getting ready and then it's time to get on. So here we are in the warm-up arena. I got super lucky that when I went in, there was actually nobody else in there, so I was able to really just relax and take a few minutes to walk and um, get our thoughts together. I've been developing a system of training with my coach whereby we don't ask loads and loads of Woody in the warm up, we give him plenty of time to walk, we don't ask him to come down and to work really, really hard in the warm up, but we take our time, we let him warm up, we let him stretch, 
we have a lot of trotting. I think I was in here for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 10. Um, and then when it gets to the actual arena where the test will take place, that is then when I ask him to really be with me and be present and come down on the bit. And uh, so far that's been working for us. He is the type of horse where if you ask too much of him for too long of a period of time, it's a little bit like having a toddler. He just can't give you that much attention mentally or physically. He's just not strong enough. So this is the first time we've tried this out. And so far it's worked really well. You know, my coach said to me, you have got to be able to be strong enough to be in the warm up with all these other horses who look quite fancy and on the bit and in an outline and say, nope, that's not my system. That's not how we're warming up. And um, I think that's really helpful. So this was fun. So here is our actual test. I thought it might be interesting to walk you through our marks as we go. If you don't find that interesting, you can just skip ahead. This is the intro B from British Dressage. So here we go. Enter in working trot and proceed down the centre line without halting at C, track right. So I got a 7 for this entry and uh, the comment was a fair entry, so I guess we did okay. So we're tracking right and then we're coming down to A where we'll do a half 20 metre circle right to X and at X a half 20 metre circle right to, also left to C, sorry. So you have a little bit of time to get your bearings around the arena before you do that half circle. And something I've been thinking about is how to differentiate the circle from the long side. So I really tried to go into my corner just before we went onto the half circle because otherwise it can be difficult to distinguish what's a half circle and what's just you going around the arena. So for this movement I got a seven um, and it says regular rhythm. Uh, so now we're going to E and we are turning left at E and turning right at B, so essentially a change of rein. We also got a seven for this movement, and again, the comment was regular rhythm. So at A, there will be a transition to medium walk. A to K will be medium walk, and then KXM, we're changing the rein, free walk on a long rein. I got an seven for this transition, and it just says obedient transition. So for our free walk on a long rein, we got a seven and the comment was active, just needs a little more stretch. And I would agree with that. You can't really see it here in the video, but um, I definitely think I could have asked him to come down a little bit more. Stretch is normally something we're quite good at. So um, I'd like to see more of that from us. So we're doing a medium walk at M and between M and C, picking up working trot and then changing the rein HXF. So for my working trot transition, I got a seven, obedient. <laughs> and then change of rein, I also got a seven for this movement. So at A, we're doing a circle right 20 meters, allowing the horse to stretch before taking up the reins at C. So again, it was really important that we showed a differentiation between what was a stretch and what was normal. Normally a stretch is um, a good movement for us. And I think I waited a little, a little late to get our stretch fully. I can see it here. I was really, really happy with where we got to, but I really would have liked to have got that earlier. And I did actually get a 6.5 for that movement. It was my the worst movement in the test, actually. Um, I initially had a seven, but she crossed it out, which is kind of sad to see. Um, KXM changed the rein uh, in working trot. I got a seven for this movement. So between H and E, it's going to be a medium walk. And then E, there's a half circle, 10 meters to X. I got a seven for this transition. It just says obedient. And then for my half circle to X, I actually thought we looked a little bit wiggly with this half circle, uh, but I got a seven for this. And then between X and G, halt, immobility, salute. And that actually looks really nice. I'm, I'm pleased with that. And we got a seven for that movement too. So a pretty consistent test, all sevens bar our um, stretchy trot movement. So pretty pleased with that, no spooking. We've just finished test one. We've got about 10 minutes until our first ever prelim together. Test one went really well. There was lots of distractions outside the arena and I thought he did a really good job of not getting distracted. And um, our stretchy trot, I was so pleased with. It was even better than what we did in the lesson yesterday. So now we've just got to get our canter right and I've got to be brave enough to let him go forward and hope that he doesn't go outside the boards. We'll see how we go. So here's our second test. And again, I'll walk you through the marks. This is the prelim 12 from British Dressage. Enter in working trot, proceed down the centre line without halting and track right. We actually got an eight for this movement and the comment just says straight, so super pleased with that. MXK, change the rein in working trot. So this movement actually got 
a little 6.5 which was a little bit disappointing it says regular through the rhythm although a little hollow which i think is fair enough at a there's a 20 meter circle left um, and this got a seven there was no comment just a seven i think this was all right i think that looks quite nice from him there nice and consistent i think the bend was pretty good not a perfect circle but not a bad circle either and then we're changing the rain FXH in working trot. And this movement also got a seven. I think that looks rather nice actually. I'm pretty pleased with that trot work there. Nice and consistent and coming above the bridle a bit there, but that's okay. Um, and C 20 meter circle in diameter. This movement got a 6.5 and she's actually underlined bend and shape. So I'm guessing she didn't think this was quite a good circle, but she has left a comment saying regular rhythm. So he did well, sack the rider because our shape was not good. And that was my fault, I guess. At M, there's a transition to medium walk. B, half circle right 10 meters in diameter to X. X, half circle right 10 meters in diameter to E. So similar to what you might have seen on my previous intro A test, is this kind of half circle shapes but this is in walk whereas on the intro a it's in trot which is more challenging although in walk you almost have a lot of time to think about it and it can make your circles go a bit wrong i got a seven for this movement um, and it just says obedient transition so coming round to e we are doing a half circle left 20 meters in free walk on a long rein. Now normally our free walk is one of our best movements but today he's just not stretching down you can see that and actually we got a 6.5 for this movement so again a little bit disappointing. Um, the comment says correct steps but needs a little more stretch and I completely agree with that. So transition to trot just before M and you'll see as I picked up my reins he went to trot there and then there's a transition to canter between M and C which I was initially worried about but actually we got a 6.5 he just says it was a little hollow but our transition to trot got us a seven there is a 20 meter circle at e and again we got a 6.5 she said he's a little hollow and again she's underlined the uh, bend and shape so i'm guessing she didn't love my circle and canter now we're cantering round to fxh to change the rein in working canter with a transition to trot just after x and we got a seven for this movement. I was super happy with this part of the test. I thought the canter looked lovely and she said that that trot transition was obedient. Picking up canter again between H, H and C it comes up quickly and we're doing a 20 meter circle at B. So I got a 6.5 for my canter transition. She said it was a little hollow and I got a 6.5 for this circle. Again, she's underlined bend and shape but has said he's got a regular rhythm. So clearly I need to work on my 20 meter circles because they're letting me down in this test. <laughs> um, once we have done the canter, we are cantering round and then doing a change of rein KXM with a transition to trot just after X as before. Almost went into trot there and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> we got a seven for this movement, lovely. She says regular rhythm. So we're coming round to E. Oh, that looks lovely. Look at his little trot. Coming round to E and we're doing a half circle, uh, right, left, sorry, to X. 10 meter half circle. Got a seven for that movement. And then at G, it's a halt immobility salute. And that got us a 6.5 because his quarters dip out to the left, as you can see there. But overall, not bad at all for a first attempt at prelim, especially considering just a few weeks ago, I was really struggling even with our right canter going large. So to get it between the boards, I was delighted. So first prelim done, first prelim with Woody ever, and my first prelim since I was a teenager, and even then I never did that many, but um, we stayed in canter when we were meant to, we stayed inside the boards, it was all very good. And I'm really, really pleased with him. So it gives me a lot of excitement about uh, where we could be next year, maybe we can try novice soon, well not soon, one day next year maybe. But yeah, really excited. So I'm gonna untack him now, take his pats out, pop him out in the field, and then we'll see how we did. But I'm really pleased, so he's a winner in my eyes. Good boy. Right, get this bridle off. Um, and you'll notice as well that we had the ears on that I think I spoke about last week. This was an unaffiliated competition, but ears are actually allowed in BD as well. So. I know a few people asked me whether they were allowed. Um, and if you don't know, these are acoustic ears, which means they help to block out the sound. And with Woody, it's not so much sound he gets distracted by, but sight. Um, and the ears just help kind of focus him for the four minutes of the test. And they've been really helpful 
um, as we've been training up to this, particularly in the crazy wind. So, yeah. Carrot for the clever boy. Well done. They're just taking our plats out while we await the results and getting Woody ready to go out in the field. This is really the most therapeutic part, isn't it? So the boys are out in the field enjoying some relaxing time out. Well deserved, they both did lovely tests today. I'm helping out a little bit with the rest of the classes and then I shall talk you through my results. Got our prelim result back. Third place in our first prelim and we got 67 point, I think it was 9%, which I mean, what more can I ask for? First place in our intro, third place in our prelim. I think the last time, God, my car keeps like locking itself and I just know the alarm's gonna go off anyway. Um, the last time we did a dressage test, we came third in the intro and we had, I think it was 65 or 66%. So to jump up to 69% and then 67% in the prelim, it's just amazing. I think it means we're ready to move up at these home dressage competitions from the intro now, now that we've won one, but it just makes me really excited to go out with him. And you know, we're doing dressage first because jumping takes longer for us to build confidence together. But like, wow, maybe dressage will be our secret weapon when we start doing B because he's a proper little dressage pony he's so good i'm so chuffed with him thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you next week bye so next week on riding with re weather pending we'll be going out on a little hacking adventure with lynn and lyric so do subscribe if you want to see that video see you then